I'm about to open some nice fresh oysters. The question is, what knife will I be using? And for that, you'll just have to watch the video. This is a steel folding knife and it has a steel blade which can be hardened and this is really useful for keeping your blade sharp. But with hardness also comes brittleness which means it's brittle and the point can be weak if you like use it as a pry bar. This is the prototype for my oyster knife. An oyster knife is used like this, you stick it into the shell and then you pry it open. Okay, it's a shell, but they're tough little shellfish. So, if you are saying that steel has a certain amount of brittleness to it, and the only thing you're doing is prying it open like a pry bar, maybe we shouldn't make this knife out of steel. So we're making it out of titanium. But titanium is way too expensive to start with, so we're going to start off with aluminium. So, let's make that first prototype to see if the coat works on the sail CNC machine. We are gonna cut a one on the sail CNC machine first. So in last video we made this fixturing plate along with these fixturing holes. So we're gonna uh, put a one in first and take it up by up just to be sure not to make too many errors. So let's put in the push pin. So we're now actually inside the machine. We have the material here. We have one, two, three stop pins and these eccentric clamps so you can see them moving and they shoot and this bottom one is the, the, the top one in this one they should clamp it down because of the eccentric movement so far so good but you definitely don't want anything flying around in your machine let's close the door and run the code very carefully I tested the code Tools are loaded, materials loaded, feeds are down a lot. Um, let's get started. This was actually a new trick I learned from Eric to pause the machine when it's almost there to check if you're really happy with where it's going. just finished uh, six pockets for the screw holes which will be then screwed to those holes over there. Spot it first then drill it. Okay so we now prep the stuff. Now we're gonna put it in the uh, spot for up to Wow, so it's still very rough. If this was the six millimeter end with a one millimeter step over, we're gonna now dial it down with the three millimeter one, but you can actually see that we're making a knife. It's awesome. So I just came in and it's cold in my workshop. So I usually work an hour before work and then I go to my regular day job. And then on Wednesdays I have full time to spend making knives. And today we're gonna actually run two CNC's simultaneously. 
and uh, that will warm up uh, the room a bit I hope wait for it oops so what happened there is we have the engraving bit and it's following a path that's on a plane but the plane was on the wrong plane it was on the other side of the blade so it actually tried to drill through the blade and then do some engraving so that didn't work out broke the mill off immediately luckily i could fix that um, and you can see in the video uh, there were some some well things wrong with the blade and also the engraving was too deep so uh, while i had it done the bottom side of the blade i could fit it in the mold that we made last episode and it wasn't completely fitting either unfortunately so we had to remake it um, do a little bit of a wider step over on the mold to accept the machine part and then uh, remove some burrs with some uh, knife making uh, stones some mold stones and then uh, we were able to fit it Gonna do a tool change. Not that exciting anymore. It used to be very much in the beginning. Now it will go. just finished and this is what's now on the table it's really looking very nice I'm so curious to hold this in my I've been designing this knife since May when I had a sleepless night thought of the entire business plan and then went to the bank to buy a mill so to actually hold one of the first and metal not even titanium yet but in metal so I can use it to open an oyster it's very exciting Film. One thing for certain, the coolant is working really, really well. We don't find one more finish. I really think this tool is getting at an end. And also, it cut way deeper here than I thought it would. For the 6mm millimeter end mill, I added a uh, block to a certain height, but for this one, I didn't. Because I needed to do the pocket in the middle. Um, so now I'm going to do the engraving. First, knife feet part of the CNC mill. Um, it looks good and I'll film some close-ups for you guys it looks good but I'm not happy but what's to be expected the thing is I'm realizing I need to be get closer to um, well a, a sellable product so that means the engravings need to be spot on uh, some uh, on some places there is like the the, the entry line of the the mill not acceptable at, at the moment. I also noticed that the screws were loosening in the fixture, so I need to order longer screws so that they have more uh, well threads to catch on to make sure that they're uh, staying tight. You know, stuff like that. So, no titanium yet. I'll need to order more aluminium, uh, cut it to size, and make sure that it's okay to, uh, to mill. But uh, well, there is a lot of things to be learned on this night.
So we're actually back at my roots today. This is my old workshop. This is our family oyster growing uh, facility. So my dad retired a few years ago, but my nephew and my uncle still have it. And uh, let's open some oysters because uh, I'm very curious how this wet knife works out. I like a nice one, you know, you can get sick. So there we have it, the first prototype of my new oyster knife. It's really nice in hand, the blade should be a bit thinner, uh, and you can also see that it's aluminium and it's starting to wear. So this is one point that we have to take care of uh, when it's titanium, even maybe hardened titanium, although that's a very difficult process, but really smooth and end, really clean on the oysters, so uh, I think that's a success. Well, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Next week we're going to tackle the case of this knife.